Can you guess where this one's from? It's got like a swordfish on it. You know it's water. <sighs> what is up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another brand new video here on my channel. So today I have another special video for you. It is a currency collection video. Now, I said I was gonna post something about the coins that I have a while ago, cause I guess I've shared all my bank notes for the time being the ones that I have. So now it's time to share my coins or my ancient coins, I should say. So without further ado, let's begin. So in no particular order, we are gonna start out with this crusty old euro <laughs> i don't know what this stuff is on it but yeah this guy it's a 50 cent one i guess all euro ones look like this they're all very similar but that's a 50 cent one and then i do have a 20 cent one if you can see it's hard to get it because it wants to recognize me instead same thing on the back Next we have one from this place, <clears throat> forgive me if I'm saying this wrong, my friend told me how to say it because he, he's been there and he is, is he, I think he was Arabic I want to say, but he said it's Bahrain or, some, Bahrain or something like that, so I know my accent's not that great, but that's really cool because it reminds me of him. I really like these big ones, they, for some reason they just remind me of Rome back then, like straight up Rome, like trade one of these. Sustachi? Isn't that, isn't that what they used to call those? Oh, I got that from the show, but either way, it's cool. And here's another one that I feel as if it's so old. It's all worn out. It's like really soft and flat. Then of course you gotta have a Deutsche Mark in your collection. Always. Now I believe this one is from Mexico because it says Estados Unidos. Mexicanos. Estados Unidos. Now, of course, if any of you guys recognize these or have some of them, go ahead and let me know in the comment section because I could be saying they're from the wrong place and whatnot, but like, for example, this one. I can't read it, but I would assume that it's some sort of Asian. This one is actually extremely, extremely light. It almost feels like a token that you would use at like Chuck E. Cheese or something. This one is actually from the Netherlands. Of course, that's upside down, of course. 1963, it looks like, yeah, 25 cents. Then we have this big old one, pretty cool. Queen Elizabeth on it. From Canada, oh, Canada. Two dollar, two dollar. Then I have one of these big ones again. I feel like they're all similar. I mean, look at this thing. It says it's a half a penny. I mean, what in the world? If it's anything like American cent, that's a half of a, a penny. And I got this one. I think obviously from France. And I have this one, it's a Euro. I would assume it's the $2 and it's newer in the 2000s. Then I have one of this, Ein Schilling, Republic Ostreich, right? Schilling, there you can see it better now. <clears throat> Ostreich, something like that. Then we have another one, Estados Unidos Mexicanos. Now you tell me if that dollar symbol does not look like the dollar symbol from the price is right. You got this one from Jamaica. And this is another one from Deutschland. Das alles ist Deutschland. Das alles sind wir. Then we got this one from Denmark. I would assume it's Denmark. It says Denmark, but I'm sure that's how you pronounce it. Another one of these with this guy's face. Can you guess where this one's from? It's got like a swordfish on it. You know it's water. I'll tell you on the count of three. One, it's Singapore. Good guess. <laughs> this one's kind of cool because it's a little tricky. It's got Queen Elizabeth II on it, right? But when you flip it over, it's got Hong Kong. Really? Interessante. Then I have another one from the Netherlands. Another cool one, 25 cents. I do have a lot of duplicates. 
but well obviously different years but this one's from good old Panama Panama Ooh, let me flip that Republica de Panama can you guess where this one's from mm, Central America right but where how about Costa Rica it's upside down of course got another big one here now to help you guys gauge the size of these I mean it's legit like it's like what bigger than my nose and I'm black so I have a big nose so look how about my eye I have a normal sized eye that's how big it is probably gonna get coronavirus in my eye now another Queen Elizabeth one from Canada this one's cool because no matter what whenever I see that um, like half or that um that, I don't even know what kind of moon is it. it's either like waning or a crescent moon with a little star you know it's gonna be from Turkey can you guess where this one's from it's almost impossible unless you actually have it I would assume it's Norway correct me if I'm wrong then I got this little tiny baby one really tiny it's like the size of your fingernail almost upside down cool another Queen Elizabeth but from Hong Kong and we have another one from Estados Unidos mm-hmm Mexicanos we do have another Deutsche Mark I don't know who that is but he does not look happy to be on this coin someone get this guy a Snickers this one has a lot of crud on it so I don't know if you can make it out it looks like it says Juliana maybe on it maybe it's was that say Netherlands maybe then it has this on the back then there is this one there you go another German one from 1950 now I really like this one not only because of the shape but I just think it's just cool looking in general it says Anna in the back I'm not sure if anybody knows where this is from well I could automatically guess where this one's from by looking at the back of it see it's from India but whenever I saw rupee I knew it was gonna be like from around that area it's India got corn on a cob back there this is probably one of the biggest that I have cinco pesos it's it's pretty big I mean I don't think we have a coin this big fairly decent hand I mean it's like I don't know what to compare it to like I don't I mean maybe like this roll of tape like why angry spud you have a roll of random tape on your desk don't ask questions it's needed but it's as big as that I guess it's pretty big and what's even more cool about this is if you look on the side it says stuff it probably all said stuff and I didn't look because I'm bad but yeah that's pretty cool sorry I, I definitely messed that up <laughs> this one's kind of all raggedy but it's still pretty cool it seems like it might be something from Mexico or somewhere South America Central America or something along those lines because it's kind of got that eagle on the back the same as the other Estados Unidos Mexicanos that have those oh it does have stuff on the side uh oh basically the same thing as what I just saw on the other one I don't even know where to begin with this one this one is has nothing other than that and then the building so someone help me out have another Deutsch one have a lot of German ones that's the back very hard to make out these ones that are kind of flat and worn over because they've been used so many times through circulation and then that but I would assume it's a half dollar Queen Elizabeth but like if you can 
I don't think you can see. Look how flat that is because it's so smooth and been worn and used so many times. And last but not least, the Roman Widow's Mite Sized. This bad boy is so tiny, I don't even know how they could tell that this is, in fact, what it is. Obviously, they're a lot more professional than I, but that's still pretty cool. This thing is freaking awesome. Well guys, that's all I had for this video today. I hope you enjoyed my coin collection. Um, stay tuned, because I do plan on posting more stuff about my currency collection, because I just love collecting those type of things, anything that's foreign. If you guys have anything similar to mine, or if you have anything that's better, go ahead and let me know down in the comment section. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Peace out.